Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel All About VLSI. In this video, we will start with the AXA ordering model. This is a part two for the AXA ordering model. So let's see about rules for read ordering. So ARID, we have already discussed about this ARID. This is the unique identifier assigned by the master to each read transaction, ensuring proper sequencing and tracking. What are the master expectations? reads with the same ar id so first one is reads with same ar id so the reads with the same ar id must arrive in the same order they were issued we have already seen this point in the last video and second point is reads with the different ar ids reads with different AR IDs. So the reads with different AR, ID, AR IDs can return in any order for the potential performance optimization. So reads with the same AR ID should return in the same order, whereas reads with the different AR IDs can return in any order they want. Now, what are the slaves' responsibility? What are the slaves' responsibility? The slave responsibility, the, the responsibility of the slave is to return the data for read with the same AR ID in the original orders. Right data interleaving. Imagine a symphony of data streams flowing towards a CPU or slave. Takes a right data interleaving, allowing masters data sources to interleave to interleave packets from individual transactions instead of sending them strictly one after another. Basically, the concept of interleaving we have already discussed. It, this concept of interleaving. This is nothing but axi out of ordering model in out of ordering model there is no restriction of the odd there is no restriction in the order of transaction so this is the data interleaving concept so axi write data interleaving allows masters to interleave packets from individual transactions instead of sending them strictly one after another Interleaving in AXA refers to a technique where data packets from multiple write transactions are sent and processed out of order. This technique unlocks several performance benefits. First one is concurrent processing. The slave's ability to handle multiple interleaved packets simultaneously can effectively double or triple its processing speed. Due to this interleaving ability of the slave, it can handle multiple interleaved packets simultaneously. So it can also increase the processing speed. Smoother flow. Interleaving data from different slow and fast masters can prevent bottlenecking. For example, think of a car stuck in the slow lane blocking the progress of other vehicles on the highway. Likewise, one of the data masters is sending data packets much slower than others. So this will block, this will make congestion in the channel. So due to this interleaving concept, due to this out of ordering concept of AXI, it will ensure a smooth, smoother data flow. Navigating the rules of engagement. Address order supremacy. While interleaving data packets, the overall order of addresses must be strictly maintained. Even there is out of order or interleaving concept, the overall order of the address must be strictly maintained. Interleaving depth. Each slave has interleaving depth representing the maximum number of interleaved packets it can, it can handle simultaneously. For example, if a master, if three masters are sending data simultaneously to the slave, then the interleaving depth, then the interleaving depth represents how many packets, how many transactions it can simultaneously handle. So to avoid the deadlo deadlock situation, a slave interface must have a right interleaving depth greater than one only if it can continuously accept the interleaving right data. So yeah, this is the concept of AXI ordering model. I hope you have understood with the concept of AXI ordering model and AXI transaction model which we have discussed in the previous videos. So yeah, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.